Chocado is the world's largest online-only grocery retailer. The Chocado building caters to about 600,000 people that can get all the food they need from us every week. I'm Paul and I head up Carter Technology. And I'm Sverker and I'm in charge of everything we haven't done yet. We chose Google Apps because we are a 24 by 7 operation, but we're also a multi-site operation. So we need our employees to be able to access documents, emails, calendar information and to collaborate whenever and wherever they are. My passion is very much about automation. We're all about making things simple for our customers. But behind that simplicity, there's an immense amount of complexity and technology in order to do what we do. Our business spits out 2.5 megabytes of data every single second. Whenever our customers click on a product, or whenever our vans drive down the road, we're constantly recording those streams of data. And we have to capture that data and be able to process it in a scalable fashion. And one of the key places that we put that is now in the cloud. Using App Engine, we recently built a new version of our Where's My Order application. This allows customers to find out where their order has got to within our production cycle. And once it's on the road, the integration with Google Maps allows them to see exactly where it's got to. When I'm looking at putting Ocado in other countries, I can see that we can still offer the full range of Ocado services from the cloud. And that's a great advantage for us. We're taking a chore, which is grocery shopping, and we're turning that into quality time with the family. The, the one resounding question for me, having seen the press, the coverage, uh, and I think that's been developing over a, you know, really a few quarters, are you a grocery company or are you a technology firm? Okay. Um, well, certainly from the outside, uh, we are uh, a grocery uh, company, uh, albeit now with a, a thriving non-food business alongside it. And in fact, we're the, as the video says, we're the world's largest online-only grocery retailer. But um, if you believe what's said in the press, you'd also perhaps be forgiven for believing that uh, being an online grocery company just means having a website and uh, some guys driving vans around chucking vegetables out the back. But in fact, there is a lot more to it. Um, and if you look under the surface, um, what you find uh, is that we are a technology company and that technology is woven into pretty much every single corner of Ricardo. Um, at the center of our solution, we have the world's two largest uh, grocery, uh, automated grocery fulfillment centers. Uh, the second one we just opened uh, beginning of this year. And uh, all that technology is designed in-house and all the software uh, behind it is written by Ocado Technology, by division. And uh, what we don't um, build ourselves, we buy from a very small number of trusted uh, technology suppliers, of which Google is one of them. So in terms of where your journey started with Ocado, you talked about joining because of the, the culture that you had. Mm -hmm. Has that changed at all in the last six, seven years? Uh, inevitably it has, as yes. we've got bigger, but we've fought hard to try and effectively to hold on to the, uh, the qualities that we think allow us to, to remain innovative. And uh, some of that is also about putting the right tools at uh, the disposal of the people who work for us. Um, and certainly, obviously, some of the ones you're talking about today yeah. are, are key to that in terms of collaboration. Uh, as we become increasingly a multi-site organization, uh, that's been a challenge, how we keep the culture together. Uh, and now, indeed, my division has a, a development office that's in uh, Krakow in Poland. So now we're split uh, between countries as well. Um, but I think the, the, the core of it, uh, has, of the culture, has remained the same. And how much, how much emphasis do you put on hiring the right people? You have a great brand. You're seen as very innovative in the industry. What process do you go through to make sure that that brand isn't diluted with the people that you bring into the company? Is it something you focus on, or just do you just attract great people? Uh, uh, no, I think we put a lot of effort into that. Um, obviously, Ocado has a strong brand. Uh, my division, Ocado Technology, we're on a journey now to actually, if you like, allow that to have a brand on its own because uh, clearly, as, uh, as you said, the deal that mm. we signed last week means that uh, w you know, we, are, we are opening up that technology and making it available uh, uh, at the moment to Morrisons, but there will be 
uh, others to follow. And the fact is that uh, you know that's a transfer. That's a big transformation, certainly for my division yes. in terms of effectively a, you know needing to sort of get out from underneath, if you like, the Ocado brand yes. and exist you know as a technology brand in its own right. And that's very pertinent in terms of recruitment too, because attracting the very best people is a big part of um, um, my and my uh, direct reports role, and we put a lot of effort into that, because basically we are, as, as the phrase goes, we are only as good as the people. And yes. uh, it is, uh, it's certainly one of the big reasons why I work for Ocado, is I get to come to work each day with an amazing uh, bunch of people who uh, are uh, challenging and uh, creative and uh, certainly very uh, hungry for, yeah. for constant change. So, yes. Yeah. And one final question before we break. I can just imagine the list of things that you're thinking about doing and I, I don't want you to you know, share any ideas or IP that obviously is uh, uh, for, you, for your ears only, but can you give us a sense of what you see as the opportunity and the disruption that you've already caught. Where, where do you think you can take the business using technology in the, in the next kind of you know, okay. few years? So we're in the unique position of, because we literally own every single line of source code in our business, um, mm -hmm. uh, we've already just redeployed that to, to open our non-food business. Uh, we've always sold non-food actually, but now it's broadening and we have a new uh, warehouse that runs in, automated warehouse that runs in Wellin, just doing non-food. Uh, with robots flying around the place, and that um, is, is a key sort of first reuse of our technology, if you like. The deal that we signed last week is about the first step in monetizing, if you like, that technology in a new stream, and that's obviously very exciting. But then looking further ahead, we, you know, we made it clear when we floated in 2010 mm -hmm. that uh, you don't put this much investment into the solution that we've built if you're just interested in sort of groceries in the UK. Mm. So we have aspirations that are definitely beyond these shores and uh, that's, a, that's really important when it comes to the cloud and about being able to uh, uh, deploy our mm. technology in a bridgehead, you know, in other countries without necessarily having to open data centers and everything else that goes with that on day one.